Good evening. Our startup is called Myzeum. It's a B2B enterprise, but it addresses a very human problem. My grandfather grew up, whoop, my grandfather grew up in a large family, but most of these folks are gone. That's him down there on the bottom. I only know them through photographs and stories. In an old album, I found this guy. I think it's my grandfather's stepfather, but I'm not positive. Myzeum is an online site that's a museum for families to share stories, photos, and oral histories. It lets me share this photo with relatives who might know the backstory. Myzeum addresses the problem that families have with archives. Families have boxes of photos or eight millimeter films but there is no good way to share them. My relatives don't want to scan those things themselves. They need an easy way to share and get nice printed photos. Family treasures want to be shared. Myzeum is a business that, stands, that starts in a dusty attic, but it ends in a family's heart. We love Myzeum, but we also want to make some money. We have already identified affiliate partners that provide services that our audience is going to want. We can offer family history photo books, framed reprints of the photos that are online, movie conversions, mail-in scan scanning of old photos from shoebox right to museum, and from there, who knows? We conducted research with 20 people on the street, plus two in-depth phone interviews. Among people who had an interest in history, the response was very favorable. People understood the concept, and some people asked if they could sign up on the spot. We believe that the target market is people who are 40 to 60 years old with some computer knowledge. Okay, our competitive analysis. Other websites feature individual pieces of this puzzle, such as just an analog to digital film conversion, just photo sharing and commenting, or just photo printing from the web. But Myzeum provides a platform for all these functions. The beauty is that we already have a functional website with content, and people have shown an interest in contributing. We combine multiple services into one. Instead of, instead of sending out old film to get scanned, getting it back, uploading, sharing and commenting on another social media site, then using another service to print, we do it all in one. So how we make money is primarily through affiliate programs with our partners. Ancestry.com pays a referral commission of 25% per month based on an average monthly fee of $30. Analog to digital film conversion services will pay an estimated 10%. Okay. Partnering with, with a brick and mortar photo printer such as Walgreens gives our 40 to 60 year old target demographic the confidence of working with an established brand while also providing web services. Customers are able to pick up at a physical location and we earn a 15% commission. One of the pieces of feedback we, see, we received in the in-person interviews is the desire for an upgradable option to add, add pi privacy as a paid service. We believe that we can initially test launch without paid advertising. Since we already have organized defined interest groups and families and history buffs that will share the site with their peers and invite them to view content, encouraging them to sign up. For instance, New York Historical Society has 30,000 Facebook fans, 24,000 Twitter followers, and my experience has shown that with just one mention can result in increased traffic without any cost. And this is only one interest group out of thousands. The personal connections of users uploading photos, then emailing a link to family That's members. time, thank you! <laughs> Judges, your three minutes starts now. So is the plan to partner with Walgreens and have them be your distribution partner in their exclusive? Uh, right, they have an affiliate program that, uh, so basically people upload, you've got the product here. If somebody wants to, let's say they've got an old box of photographs in their basement, okay? There's a film to digital, or digital, sorry, film to digital conversion, which basically gets it on our site, which we get a cut there. Then if somebody, like say you share it with your uncle in North Carolina, and you're like, oh, that's a really cool photo, I wanna print that, and they can get it printed through Walgreens. So we locally, make, right, locally, locally, or it can get delivered to their home. So we make money on the incoming and the outgoing. Would they push you out to all of their Walgreens registered, you know, customers on the farm? Um, that is a possibility. Yeah. Okay. Yes. 
that, that's one of our possibilities. That's, yes, absolutely. So we'll be able to distribute through all the Walgreens locations. Walk me through this screenshot here and sure. what the user experience would be. Okay, you come up here, you've got basically more popular posts come to the top. Then you kind of want to go through that. Yeah, up. right, absolutely. Uh, uh, if a contributor wants to enter an exhibit, we call an exhibit a single family stuff. They uh, contribute something, they enter an account, um, and it's a pretty simple web form. They can add photos, they can add text, they can also add movies or audio, or like an oral history. The most popular ones are listed here at the top. Uh, we've got a variety of different kinds. Some of them aren't so much family albums as some important thing, like a relic or an artifact. It's another avenue that we've been exploring. So is this a competitor to Ancestry.com or a complement to it? We think it's a complement because really they don't offer the same kind of image-based searching that Ancestry does. Ancestry is more of a text and a genealogy resource. Because I've, I've, I've used research arts, or we've seen people use Ancestry and there are a fair amount of photos out there, right? Right, they actually just, I talked to their uh, customer service yesterday and they, they, they offer a static photos that you can upload, but to share that with anybody, that other user has to have, you have to know their username, and they also have to be a paid user that's about an average of $30 a month. So this is here, free, free to contribute yeah. and free to use. This is free if you have your family list of all your emails, boom, you send out an email, email blast to all your family members and encouraging them to come visit the site. Is there any way to make that accessible through the Ancestry platform and have something, I mean, does Ancestry have an API? Yeah. They do, yeah. you can pull it out at least. Yeah. Can you close a deal over the phone, or do you have to s do you plan to see that in person? Who? Do you feel the customers? Customer? The customers who? Do, you, do they just come to your website and sign right. up, or do you right. talk yeah. to them? Yeah. It's, a, it's a blind service, uh, like kind of white label as far as the film to digital. Actually, this site is live right this second. Yeah, yeah. Go this is a yeah. screenshot, so it's live right now at myzine.co. Okay. That's all the time we got. Thank you.